Harrington, and I'm president of the Herring Ponds Watershed Association. We are located in the area of critical environmental concern, that's a state designation, uh, in the southern part of Plymouth, and we go over into Bourne following the Herring River down to the Cape Cod Canal. It's a fairly small watershed, but it's a very important one to migrating herring and to breeding herring and uh, for herring reproduction in the spring and early summer. We're a very active and productive and effective uh, watershed association. Our activities as an association focus on educational outreach to schools and adults, especially people that live within the area of the watershed, uh, giving people ideas on how they can manage their own uh, uses of fertilizers or dishwater detergents or uh, things that add phosphates and nitrogen to our waters that can lead to pollution of our watershed. We also do a lot in terms of sampling of the water, uh, both in both Great Herring Pond and in Little Herring Pond, to track uh, the condition of the pond and the health of the pond. Uh, we've been doing this for about three or four years now. Uh, and the signs are all very good. We have a very healthy system, but we've got to watch it carefully to make sure that it stays. We have lots of different parts to our watershed. We have the Herring River that goes down into the canal from Great Herring Pond. Great Herring Pond itself is about three miles long. It's also a treasure to the town of Plymouth for its recreational value. It's a very popular pond for boating. Then connecting Great Herring Pond to Little Herring Pond is what's called the Carter's River. The river is about half a mile long as a bird flies and about a mile long as a fish swims. Uh, it's a beautiful little river. It's my favorite part of the watershed. There's Atlantic white cedar growing in there. There are all kinds of birds nesting in there. Red-shouldered hawks, for example, screech owls grouse are in there. So it's just a very, very nice area for wildlife. It also is an extraordinary filter for the water that's coming down through this, this watershed system. It's my favorite part of the watershed. We have a beautiful area that we're living in. It's a healthy one. It's got a beautiful ecosystem. It's got clean water. It's got wonderful recreational values. It's also got wonderful wildlife values. And for all of these reasons, we want to make sure that it stays. I would say that is the major reason that we exist as a watershed association.